Welcome back. I am here with two of my favorite people in the whole wide world. These are people who literally have saved me from myself. So I'm going to share a little bit of a story. The last show that you saw us on, that you saw me on, I was actually wearing a giant back brace under my sweater and could hardly get out of this chair. So it was not my favorite day, but it was a moment in time that the day before I bent over to make my bed and I couldn't get up. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's ever had this problem, but here I was at a 90 degree angle with nowhere to go. And I knew I had to shoot the show the next day, so I drugged myself up and I did some painkillers and some anti-inflammatories and muscle relaxers and I got myself here and we did the show. And the next day I did the same because I had to get on an airplane to Salt Lake City for the following week of business. And the next morning I woke up in Salt Lake unable to walk. So for the next few days, between doing business from a chair in my hotel room, I was seeing acupuncturists, cuppers, uh, physical therapy, and medical massage, and everybody was doing what they thought was going to help the problem, which seemed to be an injury in my hip. One phone call to our guests, and the answer was, just stop, Lauren. Stop the stretching. Stop adding to the problem come home and we'll fix you. <laughs> so with that, I'd like to introduce Drs. Jim and Joquita Handy, and collectively they are Handy Wellness right. in Irvine. Thank you so much for being here. Pleasure to be here. I'm Thank so you. happy to share this story and be able to share with our viewers that the problem is not usually the problem, is it? Yeah, it sometimes hides itself. The problem is like a result of it's the, the final result. So right. I think, Jim, you on the phone said to me, you're just inflaming it some more. Right. Just get some powerful anti-inflammatories and get home as soon as you can. Right, just shut it down, right? And that's what I did. And even when I came into your office and Joquita, you were there, and I was walking bent over, right. literally it bent. It was scary. <laughs> I've never seen you like that. And I have to admit, it was the most terrifying time I can remember. I don't remember being that terrified because the thought was, oh my goodness, all these people have tried to help me and nobody has been able to make a dent in this thing. So then when we got together, you guys have a full battery of modalities that most people don't have. So walk right. me through, walk us through, what did we do to fix me? Because <laughs> in two days, I was up, and in four days, I was in New Jersey dancing at a wedding. That's amazing. It's rather <laughs> a miracle. <laughs> Well, I, I don't recall. Did you see Joquita first, or did you see me first? So I saw you both same at day. the same time. Joquita ran the bioresonance scan, and you and I were talking about the symptoms. Right, right. So she got some input, uh, input that I could look at. And of course, when I looked at you, first thing I thought was, oh, this is going to be another typical disc problem. Right. And I looked at it and, and started treating in that direction. Quickly realized you weren't going to get better treating the disc symptoms. Yeah. Uh, not even using chiropractic techniques. We were actually uh, just doing some physical therapy. So there was more to it at that point. And I was in so much ridiculous pain, even yeah. with the, uh, the painkillers. But you ran a scan, and I had said I had dental work yeah. the day before this started. And when you ran the scan, what did it show? It was all coming from your neck. Yep. It was actually the base of the skull. And I think that was probably the biggest thing you know you said I've had dental work you kept saying that but it was kind of going on deaf ears um, oh that doesn't okay so what um, but it was a big piece of information and it showed up immediately on the scan that that was where it was inflamed and so this scan though once we saw the scan it confirmed because we all knew that there was something going on in my neck you kept trying to adjust my neck, right. but I, it wouldn't release my hip. I couldn't actually lay down, so I was kind of folded over. But ultimately, the whole series went from jaw, because I have been managing TMJ for 30 years, yes. to C1 and C2. Mm -hmm. We saw the inflamed lumbar disc, but all the pain and lockup was in the, the chain sciatic, reaction. and yeah. it was in the hip. And my whole point in bringing this to our viewers is that we all have 
you know, aches and pains and things happen, but so many times we're looking in the wrong place. And what you guys do is treat the whole body. Right. So yes. tell me how you bring that together. How did you, how do you bring it together for other people? Well, I think one of the things that um, we work together on, he loves it when I tell him how to do his job, but it's like <laughs> in using, um, it's called quantum biofeedback or bioresonance is another name that it goes under where we can scan the whole body. And you know, it's really looking at what are those, our body gives us warning signs of illness for years before we ever go into a disease state. So that's really what it's picking up on. What are those subtleties? What are those things that are apparent, but maybe we're just not listening? I had dental work. Okay, so what? That doesn't, you know, what does that have to do with your hip? So it helps us direct to more the foundation. Um, the root causes mm -hmm. and when we can see that then it makes it so much easier to treat um, saying you know here's where I'm seeing I'm seeing C1 and C2 super inflamed she had dental work ah pieces of the puzzle it goes together looking at um, toxicity that was a big piece mm -hmm. in the the overall puzzle so getting you into infrared saunas, looking at, um, you take some wonderful supplements, but let's look at that whole list. What's needed, what's not needed, what's missing? So I always say, everybody brings something to the table, and the more frequencies that we can bring and direct into that foundational area for support, the faster healing can happen, in your case, in like four days' time. Right. And then the modalities that Jim brings in, not just chiropractic, but all the other pieces. Right, we had to utilize laser therapy to try and stimulate the tissue to recover. And I think we use the magnetic field therapy, mm -hmm. which is fairly new. Um, but that was good because it works on detoxification and pain. And. Uh, and I, we even put you in some form of traction, spinal decompression. Which has become my favorite thing. Yeah. Because you've pretty much promised me I'm going to be two inches taller. You look taller. And I, I, I feel taller. I do. Always a kid. <laughs> taller is always better in my book. But the traction, the icing, I mean, there are so many. Right. So many. Even you said to me, don't use frozen ice. Right. Take your ice packs out of the freezer and put them in the refrigerator. They shouldn't be hard. Such a misconception. People hear ice and then they take ice packs in the freezer and they drop them down to four degrees. That's too cold for the body. Yeah. The body will react and fight against it. And go back into shock in a different way. Right. Bring more blood trying to protect it and you've swollen everything up again. Yeah. Yeah. We see that too much. Perfect. So you, you, you kind and of... And God forbid people put heat on these things. You know, it's, it's, everyone says, oh, I want to heat this injury. Most of the time, it's a wrong choice. Well, and a lot of times, even when I did consult another practitioner, they said alternate heat and ice. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be doing that. Not right. with this much inflammation. I don't want more <laughs> inflammation. There are times in definitely area. to go there, but it's always safer to stay with the cool. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, I mean, you've been my chiropractor now for 10 years, even right. before I lived here when I needed you so badly. And then with Joquita expanding her practice and the two of you now really, really working together, um, a lot of these modalities are only available to elite athletes and professionals who know about them. Who That's know where what I find out for. about them. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys keep going after deeper and more. So how do you see how do you see, what are the problems you see most often? I'm sure I, mine was a little bit extreme because we were all a little bit scared. Right. But I'm pretty sure you see common issues come in that are either misdiagnosed that need to be fixed. What do you see happening most? Oh, you start? Go ahead. Um, I mean, really the whole spectrum, uh, you know, all the way from, I'd just like you to look at the vitamins that I'm taking and tell me what I'm missing. So just general nutrition, tell me, you know, based on what you're seeing, what would be the best diet? All the way to, you know, what is really hard to deal with, but someone with a chronic disease state, such as cancer, mm -hmm. an autoimmune problem, um, you know, a really sick person. So many times, um, I know I hear, I've been to, I had a patient this week, I've been to 22 doctors and they can't find anything wrong with me and I feel like this. I can't get out of bed in the morning. Um, I'm tired by noon. So um, I, I hear that a, a lot too, um, kind of a last stop resort 
um, ditch effort. <laughs> no, I get fine. it. <laughs> but you're great. able to help. That's the thing. Yes. That you're because you approach it as a whole body healing. Mm -hmm. You're looking at it completely differently than a doctor is who has a specialty. Like I said, if all you have is a hammer, then everything looks like a nail. And, and we're trained that way. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have a recent ex ex uh, example where I had a patient with um, chronic knee pain, and as as a you know trainer type physical therapy approach, I said, oh, we're going to treat this knee pain, and started using ice and taping and and some exercises and stretches and. I wasn't getting the results I wanted. And after Joe Quay did a scan, it was very clear the pain was a result of toxicity causing inflammation in the whole body. And there's nothing I could do to stop that. I mean, you can go on anti-inflammatory medications, which sometimes work, right. but cleaning up the body with her, her guidance was the key. And then the pain just went away. Went away. It was dramatic. It's brilliant, and yeah. I so appreciate you for what you've done for me and for what I know you do for so many because I'm never there alone. <laughs> and I appreciate that, but I'd like our viewers to be able to find you. So where can they find you? We're at the, uh, really close to Orange County Airport. Okay. So you can find us on drhandy.com or handywellness.com. Perfect, we'll put those up on the website and hopefully your phones will continue to be ringing off the hook and you'll Thank be you. able to make even more people feel better. Thank you, Laura. Thank you so much for <laughs> coming you. in. And we'll be right back.